I'm often asked by student pilots like my good friend Craig and by high time pilots like Charlie here. How do I get started with ForeFlight, this amazing comprehensive tool? Hoping to help jumpstart the process, I created a short primer on ForeFlight available online. In this quick tip video, we'll step through some of the basics. We launch ForeFlight, toggle off the in-flight instrument strip, make sure we're on the Maps tab, and open the Flight Plan sub-tab or drawer. There are many ways to enter a route for our flight. We'll start by typing the departure airport, Santa Barbara, then a navigation aid, the Gaviota VOR, and our destination, San Luis Obispo. and auto-scale that route. The aeronautical map contains six categories of items, namely airports, airspace, airways, frequency, terrain, and highways. For now, we'll select all except airspace and airways. Next, we define the aircraft we'll be flying. To select its type, we search for, for example, 172 Model S's. And then enter our tail number. We complete our aircraft by entering its basic performance characteristics. For climb, and cruise. Let's set our altitude for cruise. We'll try a VFR westerly altitude of 6,500 feet. To see if that altitude works for terrain and airspace avoidance, we'll check the vertical profile for this route. And generate a navigation log for our flight. With all looking good so far, we'll set our estimated time of departure. Of course, we're not flying unless and until the weather meets our personal minimums. For Santa Barbara, the current METAR shows the usual morning marine layer, but TAF and MOSS forecasts are more encouraging for an afternoon flight. We check the airport diagram for our expected taxi clearance and hotspots. Of course, flight planning is an iterative task. Since we expect clear skies in the afternoon, we opt for a little sightseeing by overflying the sand dunes near Oceano Airport. We double check the updated terrain profile and our nav log. How is the big picture weather evolving? As we saw in the Santa Barbara METAR, at the moment, marginal VFR and IFR on the coast 
and VFR inland. Plus some summer monsoonal storms in southeastern Arizona. If you found this short video to be an effective jumpstart into foreflight, please share with your friends. We plan to follow with additional quick tips. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe below and click the bell for notifications.